What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos. So tonight we're going to be taking a look at the second beta release of Elementary OS Freya. So to bring you guys more up to speed on the changes from Luna to Freya, we're actually going to look at the beta 1 release notes prior to the beta 2 release notes. So let's head over to Elementary's website and let's take a look. So first item here is improved hardware support and updated libraries. Of course, Freya is built on top of Ubuntu 14.04.1. So we're working with Linux kernel version 3.13 and the drivers and graphic stack all uh, within that particular kernel. Uh, this includes support for EFI stub loading, so on and so forth. It's going to explain what all that is. Um, I'll include a link in the video description uh, to the notes uh, so you guys can check these out. Online accounts integration, slingshot search improvements, client side decorations, updated themes, granite changes, and it also lists a few hundred other things. If we head over to the beta 2, we see uh, better support for Samba in files, new calculator and video apps, UI improvements uh, in the calendar, photos, and system settings, slingshot, and more notifications, firewall settings, better and more discoverable multitasking, updated third-party apps, updated development libraries. Uh, this includes GTK 3.14, uh, security and stability improvements, UEFI and secure boot support, which is really nice because most of your uh, new PCs that are bought, especially in big box stores, all come uh, with this secure boot. Uh, tons of style sheet and icon changes and fixes and way more stuff uh, than is reasonable to list. So let's take a look here. Now, uh, if you're expecting Freya to be a huge departure from Luna, um, you're going to be very much disappointed here with this release. I think oftentimes in the Linux world, every time a rev of a new of a distro comes around, we're expecting something completely different. Uh, I believe the way the best projects are built is small improvements. So you start with a good core operating system, good core product, and you make um, small uh, revs on an already solid base and project. And I believe that's what this is here. Um, I, it retains a lot of that Luna feeling, which is great. I know the project, I believe the idea was being kicked around to call this Luna plus one. I actually think that name would actually have been very fitting, uh, considering it, it, just by that name, it's going to give you an idea that this is very much Luna with a lot of under the hood uh, improvements. Um, so the majority of the work here is done on a foundational level and not so much what we're going to see. Um, but let's get into it. So Slingshot, um, we've got some uh, app searching uh, improvements. So we type in VLC, we hit enter, and boom, there's the VLC app. Uh, now, one of the new changes, actually you may have just caught a glimpse of it there is, Full screen applications, notice the top panel here. When we go into a full screen app, the panel turns uh, completely opaque, uh, so you cannot see through it whatsoever. This is for greater legibility. This is one of those uh, little things that actually make a big difference. Again, just that little bit of polish, uh, and I think that's what Luna is kind of, or I'm sorry, Elementary is famous for, is just those little, little bits of polish. Um, so they also said in Slingshot, it has some basic calculator functions. So if we do something like one plus one, it's going to spit out two, okay? So uh, I know Slingshot from my reading, they're saying they're gonna in improve other functions that you can do within the Slingshot la launcher, but this just shows some basic capabilities um, of what Slingshot can actually do. Uh, so uh, some other things is more noticeable or discoverable multitasking. I think what they meant by this is if you go into uh, Slingshot, you can see the icon here that says Multitasking View. And also, uh, when you install the operating system um, for the very first time, you're going to see the Multitasking View icon here down in Plank or Elementary's Dock. So when we click on Plank, you're going to see it go into an overview. You're going to see all the applications open, the foreground application that's currently being used and then the ability to add workspaces or different uh, desktops. And of course, there's uh, keyboard shortcuts to be able to switch back and forth between the two. So uh, if you hold your uh, super key or the Windows key in your keyboard and hit uh, the different left and right arrows, you can toggle back and forth between the two or three or four, however many desktops that you actually have. Uh, so if we go into system settings, 
uh, we've got a search feature here for the different settings. Uh, we also have some notification customization that you can do now, and it's done on a per app basis. Okay, so we've got Dropbox, Terminal, Power, and Network here. You can, um, you know, toggle on whether or not you want to have a little bubble, you know, pop up when you have a notification, different sounds. There's a Do Not Disturb mode as well. Also, here in Security and Privacy, you've got a Privacy mode, which is new to Freya as well. So while in privacy mode, this operating system won't retain any further data or statistics about files and application usage. You can also clear the usage you've done thus far. So also, it also has a firewall option, which wasn't here before. On the back end, I believe it uses the uncomplicated firewall. Um, so this is a nice integrated feature. Everyone should have a firewall active on their system. And uh, the elementary team has put that or baked that in here by default right into the system settings. You've got online account integration. So we have First, uh, First Mail, Microsoft, Yahoo, Facebook, and Google+. And I mentioned this was built on Ubuntu 14.04. Also, here for system settings, um, the panel or the system settings itself uses what's called plugs. So the ele elementary team has actually created a whole development platform for developers to be able to write their own custom plugs that all serve different purposes and have different functions and will integrate right here in the system settings. Um, this gives everything kind of a very uniform look. And again, it just goes back to that polish that I was talking about before. A lot of times Linux systems and different desktops are kind of pieced together um, with applications and with kind of, I don't want to call them hacks, but different um, system tweaks that you can do that are written in all different programming languages uh, that are all kind of pieced together. And it, it looks a little out of sorts, almost Frankenstein-like, if you will. Um, but Elementary Lights has a very keen eye for design and the aesthetic, and it wants everything to fit and make it feel like it's all a part of one a unified experience. And I really like that about the Elementary team as well. So one of the things uh, that if, if you come here under Desktop, you can see, of course, you're greeted with the wallpaper uh, option here. It has these very nice transition uh, between wallpapers and your panel. It has, a, it has an intelligent kind of um, intuition about it where the panel will change opacity um, based on the color of the wallpaper itself. So again, just a little bit more polish. If you come under the dock feature here, um, you, you're the, the customization is a little bit different. You used to be able to change uh, the size. I like it back when they actually had a slider option. Uh, they no longer have that. You're going to see here where it says custom 36 pixels. That's because I went in and actually tweaked the configuration file myself. Um, but your only two options is this one here, which is large, and then normal. That's it. This is a little bit too big uh, for my taste. I'm, I'm really not into uh, having a dock that big at the bottom of my screen, which is why I tweaked it. And for me, uh, 36 pixels is uh, the perfect size. I have a 27-inch monitor. Uh, and I can imagine um, that dock being really large on a much smaller monitor or even laptop. So um, I, think, I hope they, they actually change that. Um, you can change how it, the dock is displayed at the bottom of the screen. And the other thing is they no longer have an option to change the theme, which, you know, again, uh, is something that I think would be a little bit nice, uh, nicer to have. I went ahead and actually added a theme myself. It's very easy to do. You just push the theme to the proper directory and then change the configuration file um, to point to that theme. Um, so, you know, it'd be nice to see that uh, added back in here uh, so we can customize the dock a little bit. Hot corners, very same as it was in, in elementary OS Luna. You have all the different customizations you can do here. I have mine set to show all the windows in the bottom right. And then in the bottom left, I have it set to go into multitasking overview. Again, when you look at the the uh, way this displays, it's just gorgeous. It is very evocative of uh, Apple's OS X um, kind of overview that they have, um, even the way the graphics are displayed. Uh, and again, many people will make very uh, close similarities between this and OS X, which is fine. I used to be an Apple user, so uh, for me, I think OS X is, is beautiful. And uh, I like some of the styling cues that the elementary team has taken from OS X here or borrowed or, you know, been inspired by, whatever you want to say. Um, but yeah, it looks gorgeous. Uh, again, it's not one of these janky, um, uh, you know, I think 
janky designs that oftentimes you're going to find in Linux. Um, developers are geeks. They're not artists. And so a lot of times things don't look very nice. Uh, that's what I love about Luna. Everything always has a very nice aesthetic to it. Uh, and I think this is, is just gorgeous, the way it looks in the, the multitasking view. So those are the basic you know, things that you're going to notice right off the bat here with Freya. Again, not a lot above the surface. A lot of things went in uh, under the hood. And, you know, for me, I'm not one of those users that has to be wowed by a thousand new features. I appreciate polish. I appreciate um, bug fixes. You know, I appreciate things like that. So I don't need a thousand new features. I like uh, things that make sense, that are functional. Uh, I'm not of the camp, and it seems like a lot of the... A GUI or um, uh, not GUI, but desktop environments rather that are being put out uh, now in Linux. No, I, I wouldn't really say that much for KDE, but when a feature is removed, it's considered adding a feature. I'm not of that camp. I don't think there should be so many features where it's confusing uh, and so many features that you can't possibly find something that you need very easily. However, I think you shouldn't remove something that's just that's functional, that makes it easy. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely not of that camp. But, you know, if you add just a few features that make things just that much better uh, and just add a little bit of polish to an already good operating system, that makes me happy as a user. I don't have to be wowed by a completely new desktop experience every time a new release is out. Uh, I think if you start with a good product, a good operating system, and just build upon it and put polish on it, um, you're headed in the right direction. That's what I see here with Freya. Um, so for those of you who love Luna, you're going to really like Freya. It's a lot of the same, um, but there's a lot more, you know, under the hood stability and fixes. So that's my take on elementary OS Freya. I like where they're heading. Um, when it's released, I get that question all the time. The elementary team has a when it's ready release philosophy. So uh, when they feel like the product is done, we're going to get a final release. So who knows when that will actually be. Um, you can download the beta 2 now. So even though they're tell telling uh, the public it's for testers or developers, you know, if you want to check out what's going on, uh, I have this installed natively on my hardware. It's not in a VM. Um, but by all means, download it. Give it a whirl. It's been running pretty solid for me as a daily driver. Um, so I'm happy with it. So that is my review on elementary OS Freya Beta 2. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and uh, until next time, we'll talk to you guys later.